Hi Jumpstart friends! My name is Aya and today we'll be doing the vocabulary and song activity that goes along with the book Violet's Music by Angela Johnson. Throughout the, in this book, Violet is a character who loves playing music and throughout the book she was looking for kids like her who also love to play music. So she looked and looked for them and in the end she went to a park and she found a girl playing drums. And then she also found a boy playing the saxophone. The saxophone is a musical instrument. An instrument is something that um, when you play it, it takes out music. And so you can play the saxophone by blowing into the mouthpiece and out comes musical sounds. Violet also found other friends who also play musical instruments. So here you can see the boy playing a saxophone, the girl playing drums, um, a boy shaking the maracas, and Violet with her guitar. They formed a band. A musical band is a group of people who play music together using different instruments. So now we're going to talk about the different instruments that are mentioned in Violet's music. These group of instruments are called wind instruments. This is because with wind instruments, when you blow onto them, you have to put an air in out comes music. So here you can see that there's a saxophone, just like the one in Violet's music. There's a clarinet, and there's an oboe, which has a lower sound than the clarinet. There's also a flute, and this makes a high-pitched sound. There's also a trumpet, a trombone, a brass horn, and a tuba. Which one is your favorite and which would you like to learn more about? In the book Violet's Music, Violet was playing the guitar and she made music by moving the strings together to bring out a sound. Now we'll be learning more about stringed instruments. These are instruments that make music when you move the strings. These group of instruments are called stringed instruments. This is because when you move the strings, you can bring out music. And so first we have a guitar, and this was used by Violet in her book. There's also a violin, and this is used in classical music, which is more calm. There's also a bass and a harp. The harp, violin, and cello, and bass are all used in classical music, while the guitar is used in more modern music. As you can see, there's also a bow, and the bow is used to move the strings together so that music can form. Which is your favorite instrument from these stringed instruments? Which would you like to learn more about? All of the instruments have different sizes, so you can see that the bass is one of the largest and the harp is the largest. How do you think that this affects the sound of the instrument? Did you know that you can make your own musical instrument? Here is an example of a homemade guitar. So to do this, all you need is a cardboard box, and if you want, you can also use a paper towel roll. So all you have to do is get some rubber bands, the cardboard box, and a toilet paper roll, and you make a hole in the uh, cardboard box and you just lift the rubber bands over the guitar and then you put the toilet paper roll inside. Let me know how this goes. Did it work for you? Great. See you next time, Jumpstart friends.